I've recently come across an issue where I had an application that needed an X forwarded proto header. Now the proto header just tells your application if the scheme you use should be HTTP or HTTPS. And this is usually something you get when you're behind a proxy, like a load balancer or something like AWS's CloudFront. What we see here on the screen is a dump of the server variable, the global server variable from PHP, which has stuff like HTTP headers in it. And we see that I actually do have an X forwarded for and an X real IP address here. Now in my case, my application is going to be behind CloudFront, and CloudFront does not provide an X forwarded proto header. Instead, it has its own custom header. But my application needs an X forwarded proto header to function correctly. So what we're going to see in this video is how to map one header to another using Nginx. Now we're not behind CloudFront right now. I'm going directly to my server by the IP address of it, but we do still have an X forwarded for and an X real IP address, and that's because of the Nginx configuration. In my case, I actually am proxying to an application listening on port 8080. So my Nginx is actually being used as a proxy here in this case. So you can see it includes proxy params and does proxy pass to hand off the web request to my upstream that is named app. Now, because it includes these proxy params, Nginx is creating the X forwarded for and the X real IP header. But I still need the X forwarded proto header so that my application knows to use HTTP or HTTPS. It needs this because CloudFront is accepting connections over HTTPS, but sending the connection to my server over port 80 HTTP. So my application needs to know that it should use HTTPS to generate URLs. Now I explain this a little bit more in the write-up as well as to why my application can't just use the CloudFront custom header. I'm going to skip that for now because the explanation is a little bit involved. So the main point here is that I want to be able to pass a header to my application here. In other words, I'm a, I want to be able to use proxy set header, and I want to tell it to set the X forwarded proto header, and I need that to be set to some value. So we know it's going to be set to whatever the value of our CloudFront protocol header is. Now this variable here doesn't exist. What we need to do is actually create this variable so that we can set our X forwarded proto header to it. Now, it is possible to do this with an if statement in Nginx, but if statements are sort of problematic. And I'll link up to some reasons why in the write-up here. But what we're going to use instead is a map. So we actually check that out. We'll go to Nginx map. And I'll click on the map directive here, and we can see the context is HTTP. So inside of here, in this configuration, the context is servers. And servers inside of HTTP, so this is one level too deep. So I can't just put a map configuration in here but I can put it outside of the server configuration because everything here, everything in this configuration, everything we put inside of our sites available or sites enable directory is going to be in the HTTP context in Nginx by default. So what is map? Map lets us take the value of one thing and use that value to decide how to map a value onto another variable. So let's see that in action. By default, Nginx is going to convert any HTTP header and lowercase it and change dashes to underscores and prefix it with HTTP and create a variable out of it so we can reference it inside of configuration. So the header that we're working with is CloudFront forwarded proto. This is the header that CloudFront is going to send our application with the protocol, and the protocol is going to be either HTTP or HTTPS. So the normalization that it does is going to create a variable called CloudFront underscore forwarded underscore proto. And what we're going to do here is going to say, take the value of this header, and then using that, we're going to map it to another variable. And in our case, we want to create the CloudFront proto variable. And we can do a few things here. First of all, we can create a default. So the default value here is going to be set to HTTP, not HTTPS. And the default is going to get used if the CloudFront forward proto header has no value or if it's just missing. And then the rest of this, we can do um, mapping here. And we can say, if the value of the CloudFront forwarded proto header is HTTPS, then map some value to CloudFront proto. In this case, it would be foo, but we actually want it to be HTTPS as well. We're going to match the value in our case. And I need semicolons to finish this off. And I'm just going to wrap this with quotes also. So by default, if this has no value, if the CloudFront forwarded proto has no value, then use HTTP. If the value is HTTPS, then use HTTPS for the CloudFront proto variable. The CloudFront proto variable is either going to say HTTPS or HTTP. And down here, we set the header X forwarded proto and set that to the value of our variable here. OK, so let's see if this works. We'll save and quit sudo nginx-t. It says that's OK. So we can do sudo service nginx reload to get it up in place. So now I'm going to test out and see if this works. 
So we head back to Safari and check out our page here. We can see we have a new header. The exported proto is being there and it's defaulting to HTTP because nothing there is telling it to be HTTPS. In other words, we don't have that CloudFront header here at all. Let's add it by using Postman. So I'm just going to copy and paste the URL there, go to Postman, and we'll do a new request. And we'll just send this one off to see what we see, and it should be the exact same thing. So we have the exported proto header, and of course we defaulted it to HTTP because the CloudFront header is not there to tell it to be HTTPS. So let's go ahead and add that. All right, so CloudFront forwarded proto, and the value we want is HTTPS, and we'll send that. And this time, it's there in present in HTTPS, and that gets a pass along also. And now the exported proto header is there, and that also says HTTPS here. So that gets set correctly for our application to read. And of course, we can even set that to HTTP. And because that's the default behavior, that correctly sets exported proto to HTTP as well. Okay, so we still have an edge case here. And that edge case is if we actually do get the exported proto header there. So if we do X, forwarded proto and set that to HTTP. This will appear to work, exported proto HTTP, but if we set it to HTTPS, we'll still see that exported proto is still HTTP because we have overridden it in our configuration, right? So our configuration sets and resets and overwrites exported proto to our CloudFront proto variable, which defaults to HTTP. And in our case, CloudFront forwarded proto was not there, so that was its default and that totally overwrote exported proto even if it was present there. So we can get around this here. And to do that, we can actually concatenate multiple variables here and test that resulting um, string. So I can say HTTP x forwarded proto, and I'm actually gonna separate them with a colon here, but you can use anything or nothing at all if you want. And then we can test for certain values of this, depending on if the forwarded proto or the CloudFront forwarded proto headers are there or not there or whatever combinations there may be. So what does that look like? That ends up looking like this, right? So notice we're testing variables that have the colon in it because the colon will get added and created as part of this result string. And sometimes we'll say the exported proto is not present or if CloudFront forwarded proto is present. And we'll basically test for combinations for when these headers are or are not present and may or may not have a value. So we start by assuming CloudFront forwarded proto is present, in which case we'll have strings like this with an empty forwarded proto and a colon and the value for CloudFront's header. So if it's HTTP, use HTTP. If it's HTTPS, use HTTPS. And then the exact uh, inverse, if X forwarded proto is present but not CloudFront, use whatever it says, right? If it's HTTP colon, use HTTP. If it's HTTPS colon, use HTTPS. And then we have if both are present, we end up using HTTPS if they are in conflict with each other. So we just default and assume there'll be HTTPS if one of them is set that way. And of course, if they both are, then HTTPS is the result. Now the default is actually HTTP. So any combination that ends up telling us to use HTTP, we can just go ahead and get rid of because that'll just work by default anyway. That cleans that up a little bit. And of course, here where they conflict, you can decide to say one header is definitely to be used over the other, but I've just assumed instead of any of them say HTTPS, then go ahead and assume the protocol to tell our application to use is HTTPS. You can save and quit that. Sudo nginx-t says the uh, syntax is okay. We load nginx and exported proto here. Let's resend that. And we see this is actually still HTTP, so I bet I have an error. You probably saw it already. Yeah, I have a typo here. So if I actually spell that right, we should correctly get HTTPS, and now we do, exported proto. And I can set this to HTTP, and we get HTTP, and then I can say, what if we have both? And they are both set to HTTP, then we see CloudFront ends up there, and then proto is the HTTP, and if any of these, either of these two use the HTTPS, then exported proto ends up being HTTPS for our application. Okay, perfect. So. We have figured out a way to map the CloudFront forwarded proto header to the X forwarded proto header so our application can correctly function because in my case, the application only allowed me to use X forwarded headers. So I couldn't use the CloudFront header. Okay, so what if we have a configuration that is set up for PHP that is sending files to index.php which gets sent over FastCGI to our application. Now, FastCGI does not have this equivalent that we did with a proxy pass that sets up a header, right? Because we're not sending HTTP requests to FastCGI, we're doing some transformations 
that ends up sending information about the request to PHP in this case. So we won't use the proxy set header method inside of Nginx anymore, but instead we can set a fast CGI parameter. So all that looks like is this. We will set a fast CGI parameter, and this is what, remember those server variables look like over here. They all just say HTTP underscore and then the server name, and in this case they're all capital and dashes are underscores. So we can just create that here, a HTTP header, we have exported proto, and set that to our CloudFront proto variable, and that will get set to PHP correctly. And of course in this configuration we just need to add that map outside of the server block to map CloudFront forwarded proto or exported proto to our CloudFront proto variable, so that gets set correctly down here. And I copy and paste this before we got rid of the ones that set HTTP, and we can do that again. Okay, so this is all set to go. This will send correctly to PHP the exported proto header, and that will appear just like this inside of PHP.